Okay, right. Uh, day 31 of the tall ship pelican trip. And just to my left, I have Beck. Looks like she's attached to my <laughs> attached to my shoulder. Uh, we've just left Bermuda after how many days did we spend there? Three. Tuesday, Wednesday. When did we get there? Tuesday, Friday. Friday. Yeah. So we've just left, and we've got a new captain, Captain Chris. Hmm. Mm. And we've been kind of informed that he's um, a bit of a diva. <laughs> he likes his, he likes his tea and he likes wearing sarongs. Just so he long as he also didn't get grapefruit this morning. Shit's gonna kick off. That's all I'm saying. Shit will kick kick off. But um, so we're about an hour or so into our little um, trip out to the Atlantic, which should take around about 18 days. Although a lot of people are telling themselves it's only gonna be. 16 or something like that. Mm. I think it's 18 to 20 in reality though. Yeah, let's just face facts. We're not going to see land for a good three weeks almost. So we're mentally preparing ourselves. Um, we did have a new cabin friend, but she's moved into the cook's cabin because John has left. Sorry, I'm trying to hold on. Um, John had to go. Um, who else has gone? Anybody else? Um, oh, Kerry's gone. Kerry. Um, we spent the first day in Bermuda swimming in caves and stuff, and we went to Hamilton, and and that's it. <laughs> we went and bought food. We're stocking up on our food intake for some bit of a reason. But um, Lynn and Pete decided to stay on, which is all good. Um, we're happy about that. I managed to FaceTime mum and dad, so they're happy. Um, I don't really know what else there is to say. Um, this is going to be the longest bit now of the trip, as soon as we get to the Azores, probably 48 hours there and then it's the last bit home. So um, I'll try to keep you updated, it's exciting, do you want to say bye Beck? Alright. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>